and um, well welcome back guys today we are dumpster diving for some big rig parts at the Bowden's truck salvage yard they uh, got some brackets pulled off for us for the uh, passenger side toolbox but today we've also got to find uh, maybe some breathers and some headlight bucket assemblies for a 379 so I'll go in here and tell these fellas what we're doing and uh, we'll go digging all right we're back out here at Bowden's wrecking gotta dig around let's just look for a minute look there's an old 8.3 8 liter Cummins right there old Detroit that's a green motor so it looks like it's in a fire or something probably a Fitzgerald engine right there 8.3 someone snagged the pump off of it old Ford like a DT 466 faux hunted faux hunted you got plenty of motors don't they yeah, oh yeah. Engines. Put one of these in your Challenger. <laughs> be a hot rod then, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, be burning. All right, we gotta quit getting distracted. Gotta find some uh, breathers. Oh, I see you. That don't look like a Peterbilt cab though. I feel like we're in Florida right now. It rained and it's humid outside. Like what the heck's going on, Tennessee? Feels pretty we good. We want a piece of junk Freightliner. What are you testing me? Yep. See if you're paying attention. Little cabbie right there. Hey, maybe we can find some new way suspension while we're here. Who knows? It's going to be on the back of an international if there is any. That Freightliner, one of these out here is where we got the fuel tanks for blue collar. Really? Old Ford right there. Those Fords just look cool, don't they? Yeah. That's an old school breather right there. Oldie. That's not going to work, though. Right here's a 379, but it's missing the breathers. we got to look inside like... Some of they, sometimes they shove stuff inside the trucks, too. A fan. Yeah, I don't see anything in here we need, do you? No. No. Well, they got plenty of peats right here, but no breathers. What the heck? They got all the good stuff off of it. I know. Dang it. Doing that one either. We're running out of luck fast. Not good. Not good. Look at the suspension on this thing. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. It's like an aluminum walking beam or something. I don't know. I'm sure someone will correct me. There's a good will at start. That old Detroit right there. Huh. That's an interesting suspension there, too. All right, there's the brackets we need. Maybe we'll go up there and ask the fellers for a impact, a 15 16 if that one ain't bad. Don't look like it is. All right. Now, if only we had freaking breathers. Gosh dang. I don't have to buy new ones. They're so expensive. No, I'm not ready. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Uh, I saw you struggling to open up that door. All right, let's go find some brack, some tools to get these brackets off. Um, we don't haven't found any headlight buckets. Those might be easier to get to. They can crawl right in there and get them. Oh yeah, get right on up in there. And these have got air tank brackets on them. We don't really need it. I don't know if there's a. I think the air tank that's on the inside on the other truck used to be on the outside. Hmm. Which would make sense, which means we're going to get another air tank polished. Shoot. Call your guy. All right. I think those are 15, 16, aren't they? Can you tell? Uh, they look about that. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Okay. Ryan, I don't know how much good that cab's gonna do. Hop on in there and tell me how comfy those seats are. Okay, <laughs> doggy. They look comfy. That boy is wrecked. That's a nice frame. That's a that's, that's a long, long frame. Good lord. What in the world is that boy? It had to be like a wrecker body or something. So I almost forgot we've got to find a block off plate to go on the side of that uh, 18 speed transmission so we can get rid of the uh, oil cooler that's on it. Some two and a half ton running gear. Come on. No. Come on. No. Let's go check it out. Bruce. Come on, Ryan. There's a bathroom. You want to take a dump back here? Look at the old school TVs. I remember riding one of these when I was a kid going on like school field trips and Epcot. stuff. Epcot. This thing is pretty cool. There's a little sink, toilet. Sure you don't need to drop a deuce? Look, that thing's fresh. Oh. Heck no. <clears throat> this is kind of comfortable. I wouldn't mind one of these seats in my... Uh... Oh, there we go. Let's see if I worked at the junkyard here. I'd have me a spot like somewhere in here. <laughs> Especially when it's cool up here in Tennessee. You get back in here and just take some naps, boy. <laughs> they wouldn't even know. Probably not. Make our way out of here. Oh. Hope there's no spiders in here. I swear. Right there. Stop. Stop. <laughs> God. I wonder what engine's in this thing. Huh. Holy cow. Look at that. Old two stroke Detroit. <laughs> This bus is a screamer. So look at that thing. That's the AC compressor for this big bus right there. That thing's huge. Crazy. Imagine having to service these things and work on these things. And it's right underneath the bathroom. Oh. Talk about a crappy job. <laughs> yeah. Tampa, Florida. All right, we'll see what we figure out. What size is this? I guess one of these is the 1516s. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we've got the tools we need. And an impact that probably ain't gonna work. Oh. Break a sweat, will ya? I don't know why I thought that would work. Look at this. What the heck are we gonna do? Oh, what the? <sighs> It's about the kind of tools I got. Alright, Ryan, climb up in there. Here? You know how to hold this wrench? We'll put that right there just like that. And that just like that, okay? I'll, okay. I'll get in there and try to hold, try to turn it. We're on the bottom or the top? Nice. Hey. Nice. Calm down. Do you have it? Oh, I got it, I think. No, let go. Hold up on it. I don't know if I can get them back ones or not. I don't know, I got one off, but the back ones don't look too promising. All right, so we got these brackets off here. We'll uh, 
uh, carrying back shop, get them cleaned up, painted. I guess we'll, should we try to make another trip to Napa again today? I think so. Let's uh, let's go earlier. <laughs> earlier okay. than five o'clock. Earlier than five o'clock. Okay. Um, no success finding a bracket to block off the uh, cooling lines for the transmission. So maybe we'll hook it back up for now. We've got to get transmission fluid since we leaked it all over the floor last night. Napa, here we come. And uh, we'll see about getting that bracket. So, all right. We'll pay for this stuff, load it up, and off we go to uh, Napa, four or five o'clock. That felt good, didn't it? You just hit your foot? <laughs> oh, I hit my shin. <laughs> you oh. dummy. There you go. Well, guys, we made it back from um, the junkyard with our brackets and stuff. Our freaking wheel hub cover showed up for the back. All this chrome, and we can't even make a full sled pull without something breaking, but hey. We're gonna look good. <laughs> gonna look good there. for all the haters. Uh, these are the same hub covers that we put on the Blue Pete, the Strider Taxi. But these actually go on with a clamp instead of a piece of foam. So, the boys are gonna look good back here. Um, and then as far as our airline goes, going from the to the dryer, I went to Napa and got one and it's not long enough. Because what I decided to do, instead of running that little two feet piece, we're gonna come straight from the air compressor with that metal hose there that stainless braided line and go straight to the air dryer um, i did find a little bit of oil inside our compressor it's probably getting tired but we're sled pulling it's not that too big of a deal but also i removed our oil oh you did cooler. i didn't even see you do that that's what happens when you're sitting around all day ryan oh yeah so we're over here we threw that boy away got a box full of old garbage and parts there but uh look at these hub covers these boys look so fresh on here Shoot, boy, I tell you what. This is a race truck? <laughs> I'd be looking fresh. Okay, so somehow this thing goes on here. I think something like that, if I had to guess. Oh, it's just a big Big clamp. clamp, yeah, big old hose clamp, a clamp daddy. Maybe it goes that way. I wouldn't think it goes that way, but maybe. What do you think? I don't, I don't think that's how it goes. I feel like it goes further in there somehow. I think that's how it goes, just like that, right there. We're gonna figure it out today. These may help, just slightly. I should have got the foam ones, but hey. We're gonna figure it out today. Send it. All right, I think we've got it figured out now. Oh, there we go. Hoo -hoo. Wow, that boy is on there. Looks really good. All right guys, so we figured it out. We got all the other ones put on, but the last one here. I tell you what, there's not many um, like chrome accessories like this that I just absolutely prefer over anything else. But the way these go on, the way they look, it just gives that old school classic look. It's just as simple as like sliding that on. And this is not a sponsored ad. I wish it was, but they just look good. And they're on there. They're made by real wheels. You can get them pretty much anywhere. I'm trying to talk Tommy and Brian into selling them too, install them on customer trucks. They look good, don't they? Oh yeah. No I big like old them. plastic ugly cover covering the whole thing. Just nice and simple. Right on there and it looks freaking clean. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our other hose showed up from Napa. So we're gonna get this thing situated in here and get her installed. Alright folks, so we've got this airline installed. It goes from the air compressor all the way to the air dryer. And it worked out nice. It's one solid new piece that's a little bit softer and probably doesn't have any rust water in it from over the years of pumping moisture, air, into the air dryer before it gets dried. <laughs> so we're gonna organize this mess a little bit better. We should have our tank back any time now. 
we got to get that tank put on there and get this boy almost wrapped up on this side. We're going to move on to the other side. We got our brackets. Ryan, you're going to have to clean them boys up. Need a uh, wire brush? You bring your toothbrush? Nope. You're going to have to get right in there with your toothbrush. Oh, boy. But let's get this thing zip tied up here out of the way, nice and neat. Make it look pretty. Pretty dang cool. <laughs> the best we can. Oh, I like zip ties. I like zip ties a lot. <laughs> Boom. This thing's looking fresh already, boy. Clean. Don't touch the trim. <laughs> oh, there's so many wires up here. Like, what? Jeez. Well, maybe we'll have to bolt that bolt back down to something. I don't know. Get this thing all secured, looking nice and pretty. Gonna be hey, fresh. Let me know about that girl thing with uh, the water. If we make one, maybe it's all over. There we go. Oh, snip. Little oh, snip, snipper doo doo doo. All right, so while we're working on this, Rob from SH Tube is down from Kentucky. You guys might remember when we went up there and seen that orange cab over you guys. You guys that thing done yet or what? I we about got it done. He came yesterday and made some changes, so it's gonna be there for a while. They've been doing a lot of custom parts on that thing, so kind of making me want to take my cab over up there to him. But I talked to your dad, he's like, I don't want it for at least a year. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty backed up right now. So uh Rob and these guys are gonna be helping us make some cab panels to go on this thing. We're gonna be going to see you guys next Monday and hopefully we can do away with all this. Yep. And you guys make some custom cab panels for us. So yep. we'll make something sweet for it. And the most important part, am I right? Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. The shifter. Do different. <laughs> yeah. Comment down below, do we do a long one where it's touching the roof? <laughs> or do we do a short one because we're sled pulling? We don't wanna be too arrogant, but what do yeah. you guys think? What would you do? You know, I mean, we've done some for some sled trucks, and they're from short to tall, and they're from normal to LEDs in them. <laughs> what? So, you know, I mean, a big lighted, <laughs> lighted shifter up the roof. Yeah, just kind of let the people comment and figure out what, what we <laughs> yeah, have. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So let us know what kind of shift you think we're going to be putting in this, or what kind of shifter should we put in this thing, because they'll have some time between us seeing you guys on Monday as to what shifter goes in here. So cab panels what else do you guys offer that we might could be put on this thing i know you guys we, offer like everything under the sun yeah we offer everything in the world but we may do something on your uh air to air pipe do something underneath here yes try to, that's been a big thing i've been up, thinking so. about i've seen you guys make intercooler piping too so yeah maybe we can figure something out on that i talked to your pops and he's got some air cleaners we're going to go steal out of the junkyard Okay, so we're going to actually put air cleaners on. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It needs, it it needs them back. We're not, well, we're not going to hook them up. Yeah. But we're at least going to hook something out here to make it look good. So yeah. I'm excited to come up there and see you guys on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to have this thing up there. We'll, we'll play with it. You got a, a cot in the shop for Ryan to sleep in? Yeah. Yeah, well, we got a couch. I'm going to stay in the truck, but you can use water hose outside and take showers. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, we got we got a couch. We'll let you lay on it. You know. Oh shoot! In the polishing room, it's nice and clean. Yeah, yeah, it's a good spot. All right, well, cool. We can't wait to see you on Monday and make this thing shine. Yeah, Maybe we can find some mirrors out there in the back lot too. Maybe. Make something. Do something. <laughs> I think you can yeah. put these on your bicycle. They'll look good. Yeah, we we got to get rid of the Harley, right? Yeah, yeah. D, D yeah. Harley the truck. Yeah, D Harley the truck. But what do you think of it? Like first rip seeing the trucks it i think it's cool man <laughs> yeah it's fun it's gonna be a fun project you know i mean it's gonna be hard to do it all at one time but over time it'll be turn, it'll oh yeah turn out cool that's yeah. the goal it's just a piece by piece yeah we got it one piece at a time yeah we need to build a box in the back and, and do some stuff there and hopefully we can help you with that and do some other stuff so it's gonna be a cool piece when it's done definitely all right well we'll see him on monday we're gonna get back to work yeah. on this thing oh gosh tommy is currently <laughs> at home with back issues. I think I might find me something. He says, you got to try one of these things, Bruce. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a two-wheel. <laughs> oh, gosh. There you go. It's so sketchy. Oh, just lean forward. Heck no, I'm not leaning forward. Just lean forward. There you go, you got it. I'm afraid to lean forward. Now try to go reverse. I'm trying to stop. <laughs> Try to go reverse. <laughs> no, I turn. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I feel like if I'm, I'm going to get one of these things and uh, 
I'm gonna use it all the time, like truck shows and stuff. And yeah, one day you're just gonna clip it. <laughs> After you <laughs> fall on a pallet. This ain't too bad, I guess. I was kinda. It's got lights for reverse. It does have backup lights? Yeah. Oh, try to go like a whole 360. I better stay away from that. We're gonna piss Brian off. I better not get too confident. Oh, I just need to like sick. work my way around the shop. I've never been a two wheel man. I would tell you guys like bicycle, <laughs> but never like skateboard, none of that stuff. Stay away from me. <laughs> Should I go across the bump? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. All right, well, I'm getting it. Do some rock crawling. I don't know if we're ready for a rock crawling yet, bud. Gotta stay away from Fred's truck too. Hopefully Fred don't see this video. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, this ain't as bad as I thought it'd be. It's like just gonna be like going uphill and downhill stuff. So it's gonna be scary. It's crazy how it works though. Cause it's like re it's re it's re uh, reacting to like my. <laughs> I better stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Do a little full speed. Huh? Heck no. Full speed. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. You, you're getting it. All right. I might have to buy one because this can be like handy as heck at like mats and truck shows. Because our big scooters, you know, yeah. they're so big and bulky. Like this is like, I'm like straight up and down here. I don't know, man. This just sounds expensive already. Tommy's back is broke right now. And you're fixing to have a broken back, too. Oh, I about messed up. <laughs> well, after goofing around on the 9 bot, we're going to start getting back to work. Get this tank dropped off of here. E ow! God, I've been getting hurt so much lately. Oh, poor guy. Uh, You're gonna have a messed up toe like there's me. There's an air tank on the back side of this boy. And there should be an air tank that goes on top also, but I don't know what to do with it or where it's at or anything like that. We're gonna figure it out now. So we have to put a, we may put an air tank up here and it's just a dummy tank, or it could be used for like our water injection tank. Cause we're eventually gonna put water injection on this thing, so. It might be full of diesel still. I don't know. It also has airlines on the air tank behind it too. We gotta be careful. Oh, we got plenty of slack. Okay. See that airline air tank back there? Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh. This boy is full. They're leaking. Oh, we're leaking. On top. <coughs> that thing right there. Oh. Oh. Looks <sighs> like we need a half inch ratchet wrench. BRB. All right. Let me get this air tank off here. There it is. One gigantic fuel tank out of the way. That boy's at least like 30 gallons right there. Could put some of that in your your daily truck. It's out of fuel right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we roll it over there and pump it into it. All right. So I think this air tank was is normally up underneath behind this anyways, but maybe we can go out there to the shop out back and take a fuel tank. Oh, an air tank. I think I think they'll notice. Probably not. <laughs> All right, so I think we're still gonna have to bolt this one up to the back of it, which means those aluminum brackets we may still have to use, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. All right, well, we need to clean this frame off a little bit. Everything in Crossville closes at six o'clock, so I don't know if we're gonna get any black spray paint tonight. Probably not. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, right here is... Right here is where those, originally, that bracket goes right there. So we'll put those bolts back in the frame there because they go into the cross member. 
and uh, tighten them up. Then we'll go get those brackets. Ryan, will you grab uh, our air whizzy wheel thing over there? Yep. One day, not today, or anytime in the very near future, we're gonna strip this thing down and repaint the frame, make it look nice, probably paint it blue. But for now, it's gonna get spray painted. You might know what's going on around this place sometime, huh? Oh, shoot. Come on, Bruce. You're leaking. I'm leaking where? You're leaking on the floor over there. Oh, crap. Don't tell Tommy. All right. All right, this plate's all ready to go since I had to clean it since Ryan didn't. Sorry for dropping the F-bomb there, I don't know how Ryan missed that in uh, editing. You took the phone away from me. I don't know how you missed it. Are you supposed to go through it and watch the whole thing? Oh, that's a cross member bolt. You need a long bolt. <laughs> what? The backside of your head when you wear that hat. <laughs> it's funny. It's fat, ain't it? <laughs> it's we a little fat. Gotta hold all that knowledge. <laughs> How'd you know? Looking good, looking good. All right, we'll throw a little bit of paint on there right quick. Let it dry while we're at denter. This, need that behind you. Thank you. A whole nother level. Custom paint. Paint right over all the dust. Well, that's smart. Is that how you spray paint like this? Oh, perfect timing. Right on cue. Right, so just got back from eating dinner. My buddy Chris Maynard got our intercooler polished up. We still got to wipe it down because I rushed him. He didn't get a chance to wipe all the polish and goop off of it, but look at that boy. That thing is way more fresh than it was with the raw aluminum look. We'll get it cleaned up. Get her installed and we'll do like the final cleaning on it. And then we've got our air tank over here. Goes on the driver's side. Keep in mind, this thing's from 1988. And he did everything he could without cutting too much further into it. But I think it looks a thousand times better than it did. That's for dang sure. Oh, Maybe yeah. one day we'll put new ones on it. But for now, it's going to work. So we're going to get these things installed here in just a second. And uh, tell Mr. Chris goodbye and tell him thank you. And uh, get back to work. Cool. There it is, got our air tank installed. I must say, I'm starting to think maybe I would wish we would have went with a brand new tank, but it'll be what it'll be. It'll good, look good from about 25 feet or so. It looks good on so camera. So if you see us at mats, don't judge our tanks. They're from 1988. But those straps definitely did the, tip, did, did the trick, what do you think? I think so, you can't even tell them really. I do say so myself. We'll get these airlines tightened up underneath there. And we'll put the step box on it and kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. And then we'll go attack the other side that we painted while we went to dinner and see how it looks and go from there. Ooh, doggy, very shiny. Don't even touch it. Don't touch the stainless. Don't. Uh -oh. I told you tighten these screws down yesterday, son. No, you didn't. I said do these and the other ones. You never said that. Oh. Guillotine. These aren't gonna stay nice for very long. No. I already know it. Not in that dirt. <sighs> Not in the sled bowling. Jeez. All right, we need these short bolts for the top. Long for the bottom. Cut. I'm giving you one, not both. Jeez, I swear it. You about flipped. There we have, we got some air tank brackets painted. We ran out back to the warehouse to see if they had some air tanks out there to just replace that one because 
that boy is supposed to be looking aluminum and it's not so we have an issue a little conundrum here because eric mounted that to the back back there and it's actually supposed to be right up here shoot that's our issue so what we're gonna have to do is that one's probably could be polished but it's currently painted which means it'd have to be stripped and I don't know if our buddy uh, Chris wants to do something like that with that much paint on. So maybe we'll get a hold of the Brian at the paint shop. We need to just go to the paint shop and check on the projects they got going on there and see if we can find a tank to put on here. That's what we need to do. Or we can get a hold of Fitzgerald Truck Parts over in Cookville. I think they may have some of those air tanks too. So we'll measure that and maybe tomorrow morning we'll go find one. So boxes on there, fuel cell beer tomorrow to set right down inside of there. Um, we're going to have to make some new fuel lines for the fast. You guys seen the guys over at SH tube are gonna put us some sleeper panels on here that are six inch drops so that are gonna cover anything we don't want seen. And since those guys are gonna custom make some stuff, I'm gonna have it wrap it around all the way back around to here too. So it should look really good. <clears throat> My fingers again. Looks good. Good golly, Miss Molly. Mmm. Well, this side's pretty much done, right? Yeah. Right? I hope so. It's gonna look better when we get those things to come down. Or get some. I ordered some of that foam like you see on boats, like boat decking. Maybe put right here where you step. We'll put our some some kind of name right there or something. Business expense. So hear me out. Since we're going to SH tube, I thought about having those guys put the name business expense in the side of the sleeper panels Ooh. or the cab panels. I keep saying sleeper panels. I think that'd look really sick. That would. Silk. In chrome or? Well, stainless. Yeah. Ooh, no. Okay. All right, put this back on there so we don't tear it up. All right, so we made it back up here today, and we got some packages delivered from UPS. One of them being our uh, oil cooler delete plate for the transmission and a custom two-piece gasket. Two <laughs> so uh, thankfully I bought some silicone the other day. So we're going to get this thing installed, and we'll get the transmission pretty much done other than filling it back up full of oil. But our fuel cell came in. And it was the only one on the internet that I could find that was 29 and a half inches, 29.5 inches. Because the inside of here is 29.75. So that thing slid right in there and it got about an inch and a half front to back. So what we're gonna do is try to find some rubber and just insulate it with rubber and kind of let it just sit in there loosely. And it's gonna freaking work out. And then we're gonna have to rerun re our hoses and stuff. I'm thinking maybe we run the hoses down come in this hole right here through the back and you'll never even know there's a fuel tank in there so should look pretty slick we need to go to napa we're gonna have to make sure we go there before five what and the other tank and the other tank that would mount right here that new air tank um i ordered a new one from four state trucks uh aluminum polished one because that one i figure is it's painted by the time we try to strip it down polish it it's gonna be so much and the cost of polishing that it just made sense to order a new one with some nice new straps so we had that drop ship to sh tube and corbin kentucky will be there on monday so we'll be putting that on for now we're going to kind of zip tie that one up back on the back of this thing so we're just kind of going to be driving it right on a trailer going to kentucky on monday but for now let's get this plate on there i'll go grab some tools there we go all right so that block off that we're showing you guys goes right over here and I took and cleaned the surface with some uh, uh, whizzy wheel thing, <laughs> this doodad. And I'm um, tapping, I wouldn't say tapping, but uh, using a thread thing here to chase the threads, get them all the dirt and stuff out of them. See all that crud? Yeah. That's where we put these screws in this one really full of stuff. Make sure they're gonna go in there without cross threading. And um, Whoops. I barely put any. How are you gonna get How that? How does that happen, White Run? Saying so it doesn't cross thread. 
How are you gonna get that out of there? Some pliers. Oh my god. Just one of those days. <laughs> Dang it. <clears throat> well, I'm sure if you're a mechanic, you'll understand why we didn't film every little inch of me getting that broken tap out, drilling it, re-tapping it, and getting this plate bolted up because I was just mad. I need to blow off some steam. And if you want to see how much steam I had, go to our TikTok. Big Rig Bruce, I think it is, or something like that, where Ryan was bothering me while I was trying to get his job done. But for now, block off plate installed let's find something else to do that doesn't require a tap and die set how about not breaking anything how about don't question me okay okay good we'll spray you with brake clean don't do that it's non chlorinated dang it's not a streak nope <laughs> never mind alright so I was thinking we got these nice step boxes, they're gonna get ruined. So I thought maybe we get some like seat decking looking stuff. Put it right there. What do you think? I think it looks good. Do we like trim it out a little bit? No. Or do we just make it? I think leave it like that. Maybe we stick it to it and then we can trim it once it's on there because that side's cut pretty much straight. So I don't know what else is gonna stick. And the trucks, oop, sitting out in the sun and stuff, so it's probably gonna look ugly after a couple days because this stuff's cheap, cheap Chinese stuff from Amazon. But hey, we shall see. After I get it all dirty with my fingers. side to it? Nope. That's why it's messing up. Here we go. Pink? What do you think? I think it looks good. <coughs> now we'll just trim the edges a little bit, seal it up. That not look that bad. Um, it's good for my house. Get from back here. And now it looks like dope because I just did that. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> as long as it's still on the same angle. <clears throat> Not anybody catching no ideas. We're the first ones to do this one. Copying us. Like crap. I think it looks good. I think good. we'll go put some on that black truck over there. Just show them how good we are. Oh yeah. I think the silver or whatever battleship break. Smoke show. Do what to the, the truck? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. We'll leave it alone. I mean, for utility purposes, it's a work truck. Yeah. I, okay. I figured out how to clean stainless really good. You take brake clean. Look at that. So you should have done yesterday. Non chlorinated brake clean. Some paint. Oh, oh my god. Looks fresh. You, you're making my ears No, I'm not watching you anymore. Look how dirty this tank is. Jeez. Get all that polish and stuff off there. There we go. Now I gotta do the upper deck. Good. Like that. So we're putting the final touches on mounting this year fuel tank down, and I made some custom straps um, to hold this thing down. Brian, before he left, he pointed out that he had this really nice, cool bender, and we used it and bent these straps up, and it's coming together nicely. 
if I do say. Uh, I'm gonna trim up. We literally used every piece of this foam pad that I got off Amazon on this truck. Like, <laughs> the all the way down to these little strips right here, they're gonna hold the uh, fuel tank in its place so they don't rub a hole through that aluminum tank. It's gonna look good. And uh, so we're gonna go in here just like this. They're gonna hold it backwards. And if some of you know, we uh, made these rubber pieces right here. Or we didn't really show on camera, did we? Nope. No, we didn't. Okay, sorry. So let's show what we did. Off camera. You got to pull it anyway. So the straps are going to hold the fuel tank in place in there. Um, but I took the leftover mat, because it's been on the passenger side here, put it all on this tank, top, bottom, and on the sides to uh, make it resistant to anything I can rub against. And actually, it fits in there because it's freaking... I mean, perfect now. So we'll get all these shavings out of here from where we, um, where I drilled these holes. <laughs> that sounded important. I don't know what that was. Don't, don't mic still. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. Um, but we'll get all these shavings out of here. We'll put that fuel tank back in here and get her mounted down <laughs> and we'll be done. Other than getting some hoses tomorrow from Napa once again. But hey, tomorrow Saturday they close at one o'clock. So we gotta remember that, Ryan. Yeah, that means set your alarms for eight o'clock because it'll take you about an hour to get up. You know what? <laughs> it is not easy getting up and being this perfect every morning. <laughs> it takes time to achieve greatness every morning. All right, that's clean. Time to bolt this boy in there. I'm proud of myself. People, oh, Bruce doesn't fabricate. Bruce don't do this. Bruce. What do y'all fools even know? I done fabricated up these nice brackets, got them insulated. Was it you or was it me? Well, Brian, Brian. <laughs> oh, I just insulted Brian by calling you Brian. I feel sorry, Brian, if you're... Brian watches this video. Well, there she is, all tightened down, strapped in there. We're gonna have to go get some fuel lines tomorrow because we don't have them here that are long enough to run from the fast back into the hole and then into here and they need to be like direct 90s also so that's something we're going to have to figure out tomorrow we'll have to get some like push lock hose and make that work but other than that we need to put some oil in transmission and put this cover back on and we're ready to load this thing up either tomorrow saturday or friday and go to sh tube and get some sweet panels put on here we're going to do a custom grill we'll probably install the intercooler up there maybe we'll install that tomorrow we'll see there's so much stuff we get done tonight. But I'm just happy with how this thing's turning out. It's starting to look really good. Not completely like show truck, but just I'm putting my touches on it. A lot of folks are like thinking that it, you know, looks more of a conventional semi, but this is what I dreamed in my head that I wanted for a pulling truck, and that's how I'm building it to how I wanted it. So if you like it, great. If you don't, tough luck. Comment down below, what size shifter? Do we put a big old tall shifter in this boy or a real short one for sled pulling? I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but I need you guys to comment and let us know and help us give us some insight on what we should do with the truck. Uh, we've got all kinds of lights coming for this thing from trucks. We're gonna do switchback blue lights. So it'll be all normal amber and red, then boom, all blue like the blue cab over. It's gonna look sweet. We got some underglows, we're putting cab lights on it. So many things happening on this trip, I'm just pumped. But uh, other than that, make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, go to brucewilsonshop.com, grab your merch and uh, some stickers. we got a new shirt we're going to be releasing next week, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.